Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So Tonic Studios are releasing a whole host of SVGs today. I'm so excited. I'll link to them below and I'll link to the videos on the Tonic site on them below as well because I've done lots of videos on all of the SVGs that are available. They're fantastic. Most of them are 3D builds, which are really easy to do. And there's also some sentiments as well, which you can turn into cake toppers or you can add to cards. One thing that I am so, so excited about is that they've turned their number blister packs into SVGs. So you can now purchase their number blister packs from zero to nine, and you can then create cards and anything you want with them. So I'm going to show you those today. I've got all the numbers here and you just need to check that the line is the correct measurement, which it is, which is eight inches. Now these are all perfectly sized. We're going to use the number six today. So I'm just going to ungroup this, get rid of that text. And I'm also going to remove everything but the number six. I'm then going to go to images and I'm searching for card and I'm just going to choose a card image and we'll just go for this one here, insert to canvas and then I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger. So the first thing I want to do is actually set my card out. So I'm going to have my six and I'm also going to have today written in text. So I'm going to get a text box, come up to my fonts. I'm going to keep my current fonts on, but I am going to filter to writing. And I can then choose a font that I want to work with. So let's go with DTC cottage style. The next thing I want to do is to create a layer that's going to sit on top of my blister pack so you can't see the outline of it. I'm going to go to images and I'm just going to search for square. And I'm going to select this rounded square here and insert. I'm just going to bring that over and work out how I want it to be. I'm just going to hide that blue layer and just get that perfectly where I want it. I can then hide that orange layer and my card, bring back my blue layer and all I'm going to do is draw around it and slice. So this layer is then going to sit on top of my blister pack. I can then add my text there as well. Now the only other thing I need to do is with that number six, I just need to create an offset so that I can actually seal all of my glitter and everything in. So I'm going to come up to offset and I'm just going to make it 0.2 inches and then apply. And I'm actually going to take out that little cut there by coming down to my contour and then contouring that out. And then my blue layer and my text, I'm just going to attach together. So we've got this layer here with my cutout and my writing. Then I've got my blister pack that's going to sit in there. So I don't actually need this. I've then got my card that's going to seal the sequins in my blister pack. I've got a lovely piece of card here. And then I've got my actual card piece. We can then go to make it. I'm using my Explore 3 today, but you can do this on any of the machines, including Joy. I'm selecting on a mat. I'm going to do that for all of those layers and then continue. I'm going to go to Browse All Materials and select my cardstock. 
And I can then go through my layers and get all of my pieces cut and drawn. Because I'm using the Explore 3 today, I am going to be using the Scoring Stylus as well. So I'm just going to fold my card over and I'm then going to glue this layer to it and then I've got my cutout piece and my backing for my blister pack. So these are the Tonic Refill blister packs. You get 10 shaker packs in here. And the six is actually six and nine in one. I'm going to separate it and put the rest back in the pack. You can see we've got tape all the way round here, which makes it really easy to work with and means that there's no fuss and no mess. I've got some Nouveau Candy Hearts, which I'm going to add into my shaker. I've got some Nouveau Water Lily Pink Pure Sheen Confetti. I've got some Pure Sheen Snowstorm Flakes. I've got a little bit of the Nouveau Pure Sheen Glitter in Candy Pink. Now because this is so fine, you only need a very small amount because it will actually stick to the plastic. So you don't want a huge amount because all you'll then see is glitter. And we've got some Nouveau Pink Tutu Sequins. I'm just going to brush everything and make sure that it's all in there and then I can come in and just remove that tape. I can then get my offset cardstock piece we made and just place that over and that will seal all of my sequins, confetti and glitter in that blister pack so they're then not going to go anywhere. What I like to do is come in and work out where I'm going to place this and then just use a pen to mark out where this is going to sit. I can then add some glue or some glue tape to the back of this and then place that where I made the mark. I can then check that I'm happy with the placement, which I am, and I can then glue this piece on top. And there we go, nice and simple and easy. And we've got ourselves a really beautiful shaker card. And you can do all sorts with these. You could add balloons on here, unicorns. I mean, you can really go all out with the cards, but it just makes it nice and easy to have these blister packs as SVGs because then we can make lots and lots of gorgeous, easy shaker cards. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you've got any comments or questions, leave them below. I've got the links and everything in the description. Go check out the rest of Tonic's new collection because they are fantastic. If you make anything in the group or on Instagram, please tag me and also tag Tonic because that'll be fantastic. Make sure you're subscribed, you hit that notification bell, give the video a thumbs up, 
And as always, thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.